real quick sprints. Take the disc briskly, sunshine glints off my frisbee. Crisply knows how it goes with the sand between our toes. We got both of the pivots and all of the throws. Got to hold the disc and move it at the right time. When you flick your wrist and you're feeling sublime, compose your throws. Not discuss fluttery tricks from the brick and your biscuits buttery. Feel the spirit. Stretch every sinew. Stream in courage. Yeah, we continue. Take my hand. Yeah, come with me. From the disc to the sand to the beach to the sea. There's magic in the air. All you have to do is catch it. EBUCC 2022. Welcome back to the beach. Welcome back for the final game of the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. And it's an open division gold medal match between Salaspils in the black and Fendisk in the white shirts. Latvia versus Spain. Tom Styles alongside Benji Reese. Under a somewhat overcast sky, it's a chilly day here in Portimao, but we're delighted to be here and looking forward to a really intense battle between these two sides, Benji. I must admit I'm feeling rather smug because before the tournament, these were the two teams I tipped to make it in the final. They played out a barnstormer of a pool play game back on Friday. Salas Bills were 10-8 down and then won 11-10. So these two sides, they know each other a little bit. The question is, do either of them get that mental edge from that previous game they've played. Otherwise, the two sides undefeated on the weekend. With that pool play loss, Fendisk had to come through the pre quarterfinals, a 13 3 win over Freezebees. An all Spanish quarterfinal, they beat Murcia Lagos 13 7 before a 12 6 win over Jet Set in the semis. For Salas Bills, straight to quarters where they won 13 8 over Ray Flying Oysters of France and then a tight 10 8 win over Solaris of Poland. So both sides have been pushed at various points this tournament. And big, uh, the team from Salas Bills has always been huge, particularly Arvid Zalostis, Tom's Abel Tinch, we've got Yanis Benanz and our good friend Didzis Maldaris who helps us out on the commentary. But as if that wasn't enough, they've also picked up two worldwide superstars. They picked up arguably the best player in the open division in Europe and the best player in the mixed division in Europe. In Justin Ford from Clapham and Ben Ort from Hrud. That is taking a stellar lineup into the intergalactic stratosphere. But Fendisk have got a pretty formidable lineup as well. Alvaro Ertemendi will be familiar to those who uh, play in the UK. He applied his trade with a number of UK teams. And he would like to uh, say hello to all the Space Cadets, the Deep Space team, who he played with for a few years. But this is a Santander side well recognized for their skills look out for vasquez in the two shirt lopez in 11 and the five shirt of sebastian spiegel but it really are no weak links on the fenders team a small roster just the uh, 11 players but every single one of them knows how to throw cut and dance the way across this portuguese sand we're in the praia del roche on the south coast of portugal and getting ready for the gold medal match will hopefully will um, finish off a brilliant week down here in the Algarve. Yeah, Fendis, because you mentioned a strong homegrown core, but with a couple of useful additions, the German World Games stand out, Sebastian Spiegel, and a couple of Austrians from different sides of Vienna, uh, Jan Novak from forward, and Alexander Spalholz from the Big Easy, both big figures on this roster and for Fendisk after a universe point loss to real five in the finals last time looking to avenge that here go one better and take the gold and a couple of these Salisville's players were on that real five side that took home the crown four years ago so hoping to impound a little bit more misery on their Spanish counterparts the breeze is coming off the Atlantic from your right to your left as the main camera looks at it and you you saw a minute ago uh, did this Maldaris taking the high fives of the crowd? Very popular young man. He's a, a vlogger as well, if you uh, look for his content. And, uh, the first disc of this final game soars through the skies and we get underway. Alexander Sparholtz sends it downfield and it's collected by the inimitable figure of Arvid Zaloskis. Gets it across to Bananz, who had his birthday yesterday and he said this would be the perfect gift. And it floats high, and Oloski starts exactly the way we expected him to, with a layout in the end zone. Bonanza, the, the supplier, 
Salah spills with a two-point hole to begin the game. Well, you said that this would be the perfect gift for Bonanza, but at the moment, it's, uh, it's Bonanza who's handing out the gifts, it looks like. That high release flick, just floating it downwind. Olofskis, of course, has the pace across the sand to chase it down. I thought he wasn't even going to have to lay out for a lot of it, but at the end, just adjusts goes to ground as he secures the cap catch. Good start for Salah Spills, taking a 1-0 lead. Now, I, by no means uh, suggesting that this wind is se severe enough to trouble these two teams. It he says as the wind tries to rapidly uh, throw away our parasol. It, yeah, like rapid unintentional deconstruction of our uh, stand-up here. But we've managed to grab onto that, and I think we'll probably stay grabbed onto that. But it's weird because the mix final was very still and very calm, and now the wind is really whipping up. So it could turn into a bit, a bit of an upwind, downwind affair. There's also some ominous looking clouds out at sea, whether they come in and hit us here in our commentary position and down on the field as well. Fendisk now with their first offensive point. Itamendi gets it to Spiegel. Spiegel across the field now to San Jose. Itamendi has to go horizontal to fetch the disc, but does so. Looks at Spiegel, thinks better of it. Back to De Prado. Across the field to Spiegel. San Jose marked out well by Ben Ort. And eventually relief comes by the way of Ike De Prado. And a contact on the disc. Bruno Jurgensens gets fingertips on that return pass. And this is a key moment. Tom Abeltinch walks forward for Salah Spills. A chance to break and also break into the wind. Yeah, the diminutive De Prado there trying to get it over the mark, but Jurgensen's was wise to the ploy. Abeltinch forward to Ort. Ort looks at Maldoris, decides against it. Bit of contact with San Jose. Foul called. You can see the wind picking up the flags in the background. It's uh, something, just something else to add into the mix here on finals day. Stiffer than it feels it has been at any point this tournament. The reset off the restart goes to Abeltinch and Abeltinch all pops out of Ort's hands and gobbled up there by oh, Fendisk. Brilliant reactions from Fendisk. They breezed, dealing a bit of an unexpected turn to that disc. They were first to react. Itomendi. Lefty, righty, throws with the lefty, bobbles. Fendisk still have it. Bit of a cheeky grin on the receiver's face there. Gets it back to uh, De Prado. Looks at the team. Come on, guys. Come on. Stall count rising. Lopez to San Jose. Brings it in and not quite there yet. Still with one more pass to go. Ito Mendy's darting around, but at the front corner, it's going to have to be a reset back. Floats it to the break side. Itomendi reacts. High stall count. That was not how it is meant to finish. Fendis scrambling their way to a hold. Jose Manuel Lopez, he had his hands on his head because he knew he got into a little bit of trouble there. Locked in on the end zone, trying to force it into that front cone. But the jam hole would refuse to be jammed into. And he just had to go over the top, a little elevator of a backhand. Finds Itarmendi squeezing towards the far side of the end zone. And that levels us up at one apiece, but it was not clean for Fendisk. And uh, we are wrapping up, up here. Some of the... Uh, well, you are. Yeah, have you not got a coat, Bench? Well, no, because it's been glorious the past two days. So I left all my warm clothes back at the apartments. Oh, dear. I'm sure somebody, uh, one of our nice Ulti TV colleagues will fetch you... Uh, no, I'm fine. ...an extra coat. I'm we're fine. good, we're good. I'm Salas Bills uh, come on their second uh, chance to put a point in on offence. Garvey spreads it back. And Oloskis on the far side, Justin Ford cutting in the end zone. Oloskis targets him. But the disc with too much edge downwind. And Oloskis. You think Ford is well, just one of the most successful players, one of the most decorated players in European Ultimate with Clapham, with Great Britain, uh, on sand and on grass. And I thought he was going to be able to catch up to it. But it just felt like, it, with the edge as well, as you mentioned, it just took it too far. It didn't hold up in the air enough. Fendisk 
with Sparholtz now. And a chance to break Salah Spills. Sparholtz again. Floaty disc to Novak. Novak looks downfield, sees nothing, then comes back underneath. That's a high disc. It's going to be bobbling. It's going to be chasing. Who's going to get there? Bernans deals with it. And he really had to get his hand up ahead. Really fast reactions from the Fen disc receiver. What I like from Gonzalez there is when he tips it, he's not like, oh, I've dropped it. Because he knows in this wind, if you just get a bit of an edge of it, that disc is still alive until it hits that sand or it's intercepted. You've got a shot at it, but Bernans used that as well. And Bernans has the disc now. Flick, Garvey underneath, contact. No... Uh, no call from Garvey, the two players slap hands. Brilliant defense from Sparholtz, and he's now going to have to walk back. Oh no, is there a, a foul on the throw? The uh, I go believe there is. So pretend that never happened. Just obviously, Gonzalez getting a little bit too close to Barnans as he's released that. Probably came out a bit bladier than he originally intended. Oloskis to Bernans. Bernans directing traffic with the hand as he waits for cuts to arrive. Ford going for the reset. Very con compressed the whole field here. Salaspil send a couple of people deep and that opens up a space for Garvey to lay out. Ford's disc not quite perfect here. Garvey again going backwards. They decompress the centre of that field. Ford comes out, chased hard by Novak. Salaspils. Foul by Novak, accepted. Brilliant catch, by the way, there from Ned the Narwhal Garvey. I don't know where that nickname came from, but I quite like it. Oloskis just using that inside channel ahead of Sparholtz. See if he can find a way through. Floats it across to Bonanz. Is there space? Garvey, Jinx and Jolts. There's good swapping of players in the end zone. The beach specialist team from Santander. And just as Bonanz was running out of stall count, a rather uh, errant hand from Juan Gonzalez just resets it for him by stripping him in the most obvious way. Big uh, laugh. It's good to see that, you know, despite the intensity, there still is a... Yeah, there's still... Everyone can see the funny side of it. Trying to find a way through. Come on, Bonanza, he's got nothing to throw out here. Salah spills very static downfield and well marked by Fendisk when they do move. Garvey. Flicks it across. Ford just waiting for the cut, but he's again, he's been dealt with well. Trips on the tape, then finds a space. And eventually it does make its way into a Salaspil's hands. Yanis Bernans gets a goal to go with his assist. First goal for Salaspil's was Bernans to Olofskis, and this time it's Olofskis to Bernans, but they really did struggle outside the end zone. It got very stodgy, I think, there for Salaspil's. This was the block from Sparholtz that was called back because of a foul on the throw. He does get the block cleanly, just a bit of contact on landing there. But as we mentioned, nothing doing because of the foul on the throw. Then uh, then Garvey, brilliant layout, reeling it in, getting it close to his chest. And then Justin Ford kind of struggling to deal with the sticky coverage of Diego Lorenzo outside, or just on the edge of the end zone, trips over the tape. And maybe that draws everyone's attention long enough to allow that break to go to Yanis Barnans. That'll be 2-1 to Salisbury. It feels like a rare old fight out here. The wind causing problems for both teams. There's uh, just adding that extra dimension to the game. Four turnovers in the match already. But we are on serve here in the gold medal match at the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. Myself, Tom Styles, alongside Benji Reese. Yeah, it does feel like it's going to be a gritty encounter and not just because of the consistency of the surface. Deep in their own end zone now, Fen Disc with uh, San Jose. Gets it across. De Prado. And Salas Bills with a chance to break now. Shooting it into the end zone. Ben Ort frustration and written right across his face. Clearly wanting to strike while the iron is hot there. Tom Zabaltinch, but just let his... Uh, maybe let the visions of this goal get ahead of himself there. And couldn't connect with Ort. San Jose, maybe just a little bit too casual on the catch, or alternatively, it's the wind, so it's not quite where he thinks it's going to be, and it just ricochets 
off the fingertips. Maybe he closes that hand a bit too early. If you can, especially in this wind, two hands always preferable. Ben Ork keen to get the disc back. Bids hard. Itamendi bids just as hard. Spiegel gets the disc back. Looks for an option. Finds one in the middle. San Jose. A 99 shirt of Ruben San Jose goes to the knees to break around into the end zone. There was a hand lurking Ben Ort showing massive levels of determination. Uh, but Itomendi, Alvaro Itomendi comes up with the goal, a second of the game, and they level it up at two each. We've seen this weekend that Itomendi has a nose for the end zone. 21 goals for Fendis coming into this game and another two to add to his tally now to take him to 23 for the tournament. He just knows when to get open. He's got like that that striker's poacher's instinct of exactly when to make a cut across and Ort comes up with a face full of sand and a, a mouthful of cone as well. Two apiece, but you can tell how tight and intense it is out there. Yes, that's not the recommended breakfast, sand and cone. No, I had I had eggs and chorizo. I felt very exotic. Catching in the end zone, Gert Bertmanis for Salas Bills. Gets it across to Kasparans. Garvey. Big bid comes in. Kasparan still has it. Oloskis floating to Ford. Oh, that's a gift. They make it look easy. And the first clean offensive point in four points. No turnovers there. And uh, Ford the target. Oloskis and Ford, that's, that's a great combination. Either way you look at it, they can throw to each other. Yeah, it was a, a bit of a grind at the start of the point, but they were able to thread that through. You saw Sparholtz peeling off uh, Garvey on this near side to try and get the block in the middle. But when he couldn't connect, Salas Bills did the right thing. They bounced it between another one, two, one, two, before the, uh, the Spanish defense can get set back into position. I'll see it here. There's the swing across to Betmanis. And the backhand fires it through. Kasparans now a little bouncing it back and forth. And then this is poetry in motion, that disc to the end zone for Ford there from Arvid's Janis Olovskis. 3-2 Salas Bills. Interestingly, we've yet to see a clean hold from Fendisk's O-line. Yeah, they've struggled. All the points scored downwind so far, but that doesn't necessarily make it easy as uh, that disc from Ben Ort is launched into the breeze, perfectly uh, controlled against the wind. That is so difficult. That is an enormous pull, not only to get the distance, but the hang time, and it pins them right at the back of the end zone. Fendisk accomplished work to get them out of it. Going sprinting down that far sideline, Sebastian Spiegel, the German World Games player. Fendis looking for a way through, Spiegel's there again, and travel. Abel Tinch calling it. What you're seeing there is when they're cutting downfield, it's not always we'll have a huge plant and then we'll come back. Sometimes it's just the defender's going that way, so I'll just stop a little bit and just create myself a short window to jam that disc into. San Jose looking for a cut free. Spiegel's there eventually. San Jose cuts up the line, but it's uh, marked out. Good positioning by Maldaris. Into the corner and into the end zone. And who's there again? It's three points to Fendisk, and all of them have come by the way of Alvaro Itomendi. Three goals so far. And he is clocking them up. And another clean hold, this time for the Santander. Yeah, apologies if you've. Uh, apologies to the Smiths, I guess, for this one. But stop me if you think you've heard this one before. Alvaro Itomendi is a goal scoring machine just cannot seem to be stopped in the red zone. And Fendisk again, they got into a couple of tight situations, high stall counts, but they are able to work it out. Little push pass there to Spiegel, shows the break, puts it back in the lock here. It gets Maldaris over towards that backhand side. De Prado down the line, little continuation in, zips it in there before Ork can close that cushion. Three all. This disc is hanging. Oh, what a pull, what a pull. The hang time on that disc is amazing. Ford 
fully spreads out the wings and gets onto the end of that disc. Justin Ford doing Justin Ford things. A lost kiss. Just giving uh, Sparholtz a little nudge in the chest to say, hang on a minute, you're a bit close. Having the polite conversation that's necessary. Let's have a look at that Ford uh, reach and grab again. Gladly. <laughs> come on, uh, come on. How many times have we seen Justin Ford do that over the years? And it never gets old. He Seemingly like Justin Ford. Ford again now. The, old, the oldest player playing for Clapham at uh, European Championships on grass the other week. He's gone deep now. Garvey's available on the reset, but uh, it's a flowing pass down the line. Ford's there, two players diving over each other. Barnans thinks he's got it in. I, I must admit, Ford was there as well. So I didn't get quite a good look. It was very cluttered. Maybe with a bit of better communication, they could have cooked up a greatest attempt here. But Bet Marnus on the high stall, shooting it down the sideline. Brilliant defence from Fendix. Really had no other options. Bernans lands the knee in. Yeah, yeah. They're having a look at one of the little replay monitors attached to the camera. And they're saying goal stands. Brilliant work from Yanis Barans. Well, that was quite spectacular. It reminded me of the Red Arrows, Benji, where the, the two jets come in and one flies under and one flies over. But they in, add in a disc as well, and you've got a real display for the fans. And Barans is really pumped up out here. I Day mean, after his birthday, he wants to go home with the gold medal. Thank you very much. I, I can see why. I still think they could have been there could have been much more effective communication on this because one of them could have left it for the other, not made it quite so awkward, perhaps. Bernans, yeah, that knee's down. I don't think that left arm has hit the floor yet. He knew it, even if it took us a little bit of time to decipher it. 4-3 Salas Bills. I know, uh, yeah, great awareness from... Great awareness from Ford to avoid the contact there with the teammate. And after a, a rather messy start, six turnovers in the first four points all finishing on serve. We've had three clean holds and we are at 4-3. The gold medal match here at the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships from Portimao in Portugal with myself, Tom Stiles and Benji Reese in the open final, the last game of the tournament. Pulling on point in this game. It's been magnificent, hasn't it? Deep, hanging in the wind, giving the defence plenty of time to get down there. Itomendi on the sideline now for Fendisk. Team from Santander in Spain. Coming forward, that disc was a little bit too close to uh, Comfort. Abel Tinch lurking, but it stays in the hands of Lopez now. Already two assists on the board for Lopez. And a travel call. Interestingly, we've seen uh, Salas Bills really open up the game with the big throws that we tend to associate with them. That swashbuckling style, as our colleague Lorcan Murray might say. But for Fendisk, it's been... You know, a bit more circumspect, grinding it under. I think maybe wary, perhaps, of the athleticism of the Salas Bills defenders. Well, the uh, skies over the Atlantic look like they're bringing trouble, and the Salas Bills defence look like they're bringing trouble as well. Closing down, Fendisk at every opportunity. Lopez cutting on the far side. He's available, and Spiegel takes that option. San Jose cuts up the line. Spiegel's the option instead. Spiegel looks forward, it's Mendy's there, but he's well marked by Ben Ort. It's been a, a rare old competition between those two. It's Mendy goes up the line, Ort's close by, comes away with the disc, but it's Mendy says strip. He's done so well, I mean, it's an accepted foul, but to rip the disc out and not any of it's Mendy is brilliantly done, but good spirit there as well. Couldn't quite get a shot of it because uh, Jose Manuel Lopez was feeding us there slightly. Up the line goes Spiegel. Big floaty disc. San Jose grabs. Takes the option. De Prado into Spiegel again. Spiegel looks underneath the legs. No, that's not an option. A good portion of this still count. Ito Mendy's been the only man downfield. And Ito Mendy has it now, spreading it across the field. Lopez looking for an option, and it's Lopez to Ito Mendy. The pattern continues. Ito Mendy, every single point for Fendisk has come by the way of his hands, and three of them have been sent by Lopez. 
Mate, I'm sure if you look at his address, you know, you go through your address book. Okay, we've got Lopez, Gonzalez, Ita Mendy, and you check it up. It says, the end zone at whatever tournament I'm playing. Because he's just, he lives there. He cannot be stopped. And it doesn't matter who's sending it. He'll find a way through. This time it's the lefty off. Finding Lopez. Bastian Spiegel comes through. He draws the coverage of Ort. Abeltinch is left trading as it scythes into the end zone to Ito Mendy. Good conversation happening between Spiegel and uh, Abel Tinch on the sideline there, just trying to clarify the uh, situation before it gets out of hand in the heat of the game. And a rare bricked pull with given the, not a surprise maybe given the weather, but given the quality of pulling in this game, I think that probably does, uh, does qualify. A lost kiss. to Ford. Aloskis returns and cakes the disc, a reset. Bonans. Salah spills sprinting across the golden sands in Portimao with Ford looking for a return pass to Bonans down the line. Takes Garvey across the middle. The option was there to Kasparans. It's a little bit too far ahead of Bonans. And we saw him take that same diving shot into that corner before. Previously he came up with the disc, but this time the, uh, the disc from Garvey was a little bit too far ahead of him. And it might just pick up the fingertips, maybe skim the nails of Bonans on the way through. But Garvey bit his lip in frustration afterwards because that's one that he clearly wants back. Second turnover for the Saulus Bills O-line. The last time they did this, they were able to get it back. Can they do so here? Novak. Novak looking deep straight away, but uh, you have to think better of that. All the options are taken care of. Salah Spill's been very careful to mark those deep options, and now there's one available. Vasquez chasing deep, but the disc had got a horrible edge on it. Chasing away into the sand, and uh, another Fen disc break opportunity goes missing. Yeah, both sides now squandered two break opportunities. Although, of course, Point's not over yet. Salas Bill still have to work the full length of the field to put this in. That edge outside in, just always taking it away from Pedro Vasquez. Yeah, the amount of uh, marking deep which Salas Bills were doing there on Fendis, they were sort of six metres deep of each player. Somehow, Pedro Vasquez coming out of the handler space, and uh, it's been a strip accepted uh, call. The Spanish fans were very excited for a split second there. A the turnover in the end zone would have been a very useful position for Fendisk. Good hand signals as well, by the way. Stays with the Latvians. Oloskis. Floaty downwind pass. Bonanza the target. Reaches and grabs. Garvey running forward. Surely he's going to. The defender was going to poach off, but he didn't. Garvey is the reception. That beautiful downwind put from Arvid Zaloskis, perfectly weighted, floating, cushioned by the wind, and Garvey gets the score. Salah spills, complete another hold. I still think Garvey's probably a little bit frustrated with himself about that first turnover, but Oloskis is proving to be a little bit of a cheat code at the moment. Just the feather on that backhand downwind, almost the full length of the field, just creates a little bit of space for himself. Bonans past the bidding Gonzalez, and Garvey is first to hustle there. I think in that scenario, you know, you want to put the force on, I get it, but I always think you're better off, you know, peeling off, trying to take the runner, because how can you hold a force when you've got someone unmarked? It feels no and impossible. And it means anyone else, your teammates coming to help, they can just pick up the they can pick up the throw. It's a lot easier than also having to catch up to the receiver. As it is, Gonzalez sticks with the thrower, gives up the throw, and it's five four to Salas Bills. Uh, another wonderful pull from Ben Ort. Spiegel. Low release to Lopez. Just waves the disc over the top of the shoulder of Abel Tinch. Itomendi now. Spiegel up the line. Lopez lurking towards itomendi has gone again. Is he the target again? Oh, the run continues. Itomendi five from five. Fendisk's perfect receiver having a perfect game out here. And they've tied it up again. How do you stop this man? Can it be done? I'm not entirely sure. 
he, he was very involved underneath, so you wonder, or maybe it'll be something. No, nope. he's still going to get it by hook or by crook. That time it's the blade down that far sideline from Bastian Spiegel. And it pins it right onto Alvaro Itormendi. Six all, uh, five all, excuse me, but the whistle went for the half time cap during that point, so we'll have half at six, which means, Tom, we've got ourselves a sneaky little galaxy point here. Or an early galaxy point. Yeah, 25 minutes is the timed half, and we heard the whistle blow for that, so finish that point and one. That's your new half time cap. Half time at six is five all, galaxy point. Uh, Itormendi had already got 20. Uh, 21 goals coming into this game. Make that 26. But now he's got 26. Another strong pull. Kasparans starts the uh, flow. Ford comes sliding to the knees. Aloskis goes off to the races, chasing down by Sparholz. But Aloskis just rises up, takes it down. Two players cutting and eventually Garvey. Garvey's got the... Uh, position to get those hockey assists after the big gain of yards which uh, Salas Bills have been so accomplished at. Garvey's been the second man on the scene twice now. That time he had his choice of options. He's got uh, Martin Kasparans to his left and Garvey to his right and he thinks that uh, Garvey's the man he wants to go to. So no breaks in the first half. This gold medal match here at the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. Salas Bills from Latvia lead by one and they will be coming out on defence in the second half. Fendisk with a chance to level it up. It has been so, so tight here on the sand. It's exactly the game fitting of what has been a wonderful long weekend here at the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The, uh, young club players and then the world grand masters championship starts tomorrow no it doesn't starts on tuesday wednesday wednesday we get a couple of days break mercifully to enjoy all that portimao has to offer and then yes we'll be seeing the uh, golden oldies back on the sand wednesday to saturday and again you can watch all of that live for free on ulti tv's youtube channel we're so good to you sometimes spiegel for fendisk Will the second half change things up? Maybe we'll get a break. San Jose on the far sideline. Spiegel. Lopez. Lopez, Dieter Mendy really had to reach to the gods to find that one. Lefty backhand. Floaty disc to Lopez. Lopez on the edge. Dieter Mendy's lurking. Surely not another one. No. Spiegel can't score. Spiegel's not Itomendi, but Spiegel has scored and leveled it up at six each. The perfect start to the second half, not letting their foot off the gas. Fendisk, one and one all the way through this game, and it's six each. The streak is over. Itomendi has been stopped, although I'm sure if they really wanted to, they could have jammed it into him. It's just going to pop that one over the top to the German Spiegel. Here's De Prado blading that one, trying to lead Lopez into the end zone. He lands just short, his momentum takes him in. So he resets his feet outside. Just a little show of the scuba there, doesn't want it, and decides against forcing it into Ort, and just sees that seam and threads it through to Bastian Spiegel. Six apiece, what a game this is. Not had a point where any sides turned it over on more than one occasion. By the way, a couple of new members of our Patreon page, thanks to uh, Bert van Den Ambela and also Lucas Corey Smith. Thank you so much for joining us and helping our mission to make Ultimate huge. We very nearly dropped that Paul Kasparans, but he got himself in, out of the way just in time. There's a foul downfield, maybe a bit of a push off from Orlovskis on Sparholtz. Patreon.com slash LTTV, by the way, if you want to join them. Yeah, not the first time that Sparholz and Oloskis have had a bit of contact, either with the disc or without the disc. It's all, uh, it's all good and friendly. It's a big matchup in multiple ways. Oh, that's a touch. Spiegel reacts, going diving across the sand. Spiegel picks up. Chance for Fendis to break here. They're on the end zone line. Vasquez looking for something through. The Salaspil's defense arrive at speed across the end zone. Oh, they have. They've done it. 
Fendisk breaking the pattern. It was six each, all on serve. But a wayward disc from Salaspils, immediately punished by the Spanish. Maybe that's the jolt that the game. Well, I mean, I think it's been a brilliant game regardless. But it's been it's been on serve so far, and with the break, does this game change shape? That one a little bit underthrown there for Kasparan. Spiegel notices it, but it tips it in the air. Garvey's there, tries to rescue it, cannot quite get there in time. On the end zone line, Fendisk tried to break through a disciplined red zone stand here from Salaspils, but the give go works the trick. Pedro Vasquez catching it from Diego Lorenzo makes it 7 6 to the Spaniards. And importantly, they've scored that uh, point upwind. We've been attacking the downwind end zone all the way through the first half. Second half, obviously, that's switched around. And the disc is a poor one. We were complimenting the pulling in the first half. It was brilliant. But I don't uh, know why Maldaris went to catch that. That was clearly coming back in. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. No. But a brick going to give good field position here to Salas Bills. Olofskis dusting the disc, wiping out any sand and moisture from it. Ort goes deep, so does Ford. Ford comes back underneath. Has to go to the ground, picks himself up, dusts himself off. Or Ort is off to the races again, then comes back underneath. Great cutting from the Dutchman. Pivots around. Nice floaty disc to Bonanz. Yesterday's birthday Ooh. boy gets a fingertip just trailing past from Novak. And it's a Ford to Oloskis connection again. Hammer to the back of the end zone. Leveling it up again at seven each, but still trailing by a break. That was an absolute laser beam from Yanis Bernans, firing it towards that far sideline, going with the flick, because that's how he had it, and he needs to get it out there quick and really zips it through. And then the hammer just feathered over the top. Softly, softly, catchy monkey. Oloskis at the back of the end zone for the school, seven apiece. There's the earlier layout in the point from the evergreen Justin Ford. By the way, Tom's able to get behind the camera. Thank you. And you see here Ford faking the backhand once, twice. Yes, no. And then he's thinking about the hammer. Yeah, go on then. Why not? And when you can throw it like that, Olofskis has that space at the back of the end zone. Absolutely, why not? It just shows how important, A, the fakes are, because those fakes were just pushing the defender back and back and create all the space. You can't throw a hammer with a defender right on top of you. Not um, with that attitude. <laughs> but... I do see your point. When the, when the force is right in your face, got those hands high, it's difficult to get the hammer off. Big pull deep into the fen zone, fen, uh, fen disc end zone. Yeah, we'll go fen zone. Fen zone. Lopez. Spiegel. Clearly the Spaniards do not want to be stuck in the fen zone. San Jose, oh, that's a great little bit of uh, throwing from San Jose, slicing it through to Spiegel. Spiegel just swizzles away from uh, Maldaris and then comes across the field to collect the disc. It's Mendy on the sideline now. San Jose's gone down the line hard, comes back for Spiegel instead. The German releases it low. It's going to have to chase this one. It's just beyond him. And you could see what he was trying to do there into the wind, which has mysteriously just disappeared. Spiegel needed a little bit more edge, a little bit more float, and Itomendi would have scored that one. Yeah, he just puts too much whip on it and really fires it through. Itomendi's never going to catch up to it. But you're right in that the option was there to be thrown to, but I think as soon as Spiegel released it, he knew he didn't get it right. Salas builds with a chance to bring us on serve. Oh, my word. Did he get that clean, Ica de Prado? He did. Maldres looking at his hand a little bit, but he's uh, forgotten about that. Lopez now to San Jose. San Jose looking around, looking for the extra person that isn't there. Spiegel. Throws low, gets it back. Itamendi jolts, not taken on. Olosk is too much of a presence marking him. Lopez, and Itomendi gets his sixth goal of the game here. Alvaro Itomendi turning in an MVP of performance here. Just magnetic in that end zone. Maybe a little bit of discussion on that throw. 
going with the high release lefty to get it into that channel there. Lopez, who by the way has five assists himself. It's not as if he's having a poor game, but all the after it like Talos Bill's good to be able to get that immediate break back. Olovskis wants to fire this through to Malderis. It's a little bit maybe a, of a reach and a brilliant bid through from De Prado. Spins behind Malderis afterwards, back on offense afterwards. And it feels like an inevitability at this point. Sparholtz has another go at one of these big rolling pulls. The wind has completely disappeared from being a huge factor at the start of this game. There is now zero wind. Flags it, hanging still. And it rolls through Betmanus' legs, so we'll have to buy him a drink. At least that was the rules where I came from. Ford just waiting. There's a brilliant position from Novak in the middle of the field. Not really marking Ford. But F Ford waiting there for him. Now he's got the disc. Bonanz comes out of the end zone. He's got two options here. Takes Bert Manis. Bert Manis looks downfield. Bonanz could continue the cut. Ford on the far side now. Kasparan's there. He uses Oloskis. Just catches casually one hand. Spreads a big Latvian paw. Breaks around. Oh, using all the skills, all the experience. He's just so calm and casual with the disc. But it's perfection rolling to that far side and levelling us up at eight all. Fendisk still with the advantage there, that one break in it at the moment. It's got to be the hair, feathered and lethal. I don't know how he does it. No, it's, it's brilliant from Orlovskis, just rolling the wrist around that blade. Expertly weighted into Bonanz, who's, you know, also got a nose for the end zone himself. He's got a block, two, go two assists and four goals now, Bonanz, for kind of uh, Mr. Latvia. For those of you kind of not familiar, he's represented Latvia uh, for about the best part of a decade at the senior level, at youth level, uh, coaching the women's team that got bronze here two, uh, three and a half years ago for EBUC. And uh, he is also, as well, the president of the Latvian Federation for the last six years. So, you know, although he might not be as big a name as someone like Orlovskis or Malderis, if you want to know who the linchpin of Latvian Ultimate is, it's probably Yanis Bernans. He's had a brilliant game, hasn't he? Four goals, two assists and a block. Already for Bernans. De Prado gets it across to San Jose. Little Mendy in the middle of the field. Oh, and it's a miscommunication. The cut was meant to come from Lopez, but Lopez stopped. Abel Tinch didn't. And that's the Salah Spills opportunity here. Jurgensen's there. Abel Tinch gets it instead. Jurgensen goes deep. Uh, Ort's looking. Garvey cuts across. Back to Abel Tinch. There's lots of yelling on the sideline, looking for some better structure here. The cuts have stopped. Ort gets it back to Abel Tinch. Not got the same structure, the, the uh, defensive line offense. Big bid comes in from Spiegel. No, Garvey not entirely happy with that, but it's been accepted straight away by Spiegel with an apologetic uh, raise of the arms. Coming yeah, in. just rolling up on the back of the ankles there. Ort gets it to Malderes, who takes it in. And they have the break back. They have got 9-8 here in the gold medal match of the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. Salah spills back on serve. The game swings again. First mistake of the game for Alvaro Itormendi. It's just the miscommunication there. Throws the disc down the Jubilee line and the receiver goes down the Bakerloo. I must admit, I do not know anything about the transport system in Santander, so I've just Londonified it. He played in London. It works well enough. And then after the bid here from Spiegel, they didn't get up for Garvey. Just fires that one in to Ort, and then the continuation down the line, out of the hands, nice and early, floats it. Two Didzies, Malderis, and nothing Ruben San Jose can do. 9-8. Oh, what a game we're seeing here. The uh, fans on the sidelines, somewhat subdued by the weather. It's the uh, once the sun goes away, you do have to remember it is still mid-October here in Portugal, on the Atlantic coast. 
There were some surfers out there earlier. They would have had a tough job finding any wave. I was really. going to say, it feels like a, it's not massively tidal like it is in some parts of the world, and it's very still. So, yeah, not a great surfing spot, but it is beautiful nonetheless. Back at the end zone, another wonderful pull from Ort. Ort's Lo been pulling like an absolute madman. Lopez, Itomendi cuts, but he can't be found. Great defensive work there from the uh, 36 shirt of Podgo Podgorskis. Spiegel grabs. Itomendi sprints deep. Ort's covering him. Just a little bit of barging there. Back with the disc. Spiegel has it. San Jose cuts up the line. Goes back to De Prado. Big gainer now to San Jose. Flick of the wrist to Lopez. Lopez surveys the options. Itomendi looking like he's run out of steam. Eventually does get up to speed. Orts too close though. Lopez looks again. Itomendi signaling with the hands, but the uh, the cuts that were so present at the start of this game seem to have worn out. Now he goes to the break side. Oh, what a disc! What a cut from Itomendi. What a disc! from Sebastian Spiegel, his second assist of the game. And who's on the other end of it? It's the seventh point of the game for Alvaro Itomendi. Phenomenal work. They are letting their big names go to work this game. We've seen already, we talked about Lopez having five assists. Seventh goal now, as you said, for Alvaro Itomendi. Bastian Spiegel's got a goal, a couple of assists and a block. Happy to let their big names do the bulk of the lifting statistically even if they're not it's not just those three players on their own. They move it through everyone until they get into the red zone when they're happy to let certain players take the lead. It's very selfless from their teammates. Hey, I was going to say, Ruben San Jose has, been, has had so many touches, as has De Prado. Uh, Spiegel had a lot of the disc as well. Itomendi has been ever-present. The uh, stat sheets are sometimes deceptive as to how much of a role people are playing. Oh, that could be a big difference maker. If that disc had landed and stayed in, in that corner, Salas Bills have got a lot of work to do, but as it is, Oloskis gets to walk it up to the brick mark. The uh, tapes here that mark out the fields have got a, a mark, and usually it takes a player to stand on that mark, just signal where the brick mark is. Floaty disc, Ford asked a lot, but perfectly timed his jump. Disc into the end zone, Oloskis and Ford connect once more. Salas Bills take another bite towards the gold medal here in Portugal. Given the sounds I heard from the crowd, that one might be a literal screamer of a pass, just leading to leading Oloskis into the end zone. There's a defender in the way, Justin Ford doesn't care. He will utilize that inside out shape to curl it agonizingly out of the reach of the defender. Silas Bills up 10 9 late in this contest. That whistle could go in about a minute and a half's time. This game looks like it's going to be neck and neck all the way. There was that floaty one for Ford to go out and bring down. Novak doesn't get there, so he's out of position, and that means. Ford can just sit that, breathe it into the end zone for Arvid Janis Orlovskis. I'd say typically would be a game to 13 out here on the beach, but with a time cap at 45 minutes. And the team's not been motoring through the points. There's been a few calls, and a few uh, turnovers in their first few points. It's not going to trouble the top end of the scoreboard today. I'm imagining, it, uh, depending on whether this is a point to Salas Bills or Fendisk, we could be looking at a game to 12. I mean, if they get it in really quickly, it could technically still be game to 13. It's Mendy. It's a Spiegel. Spiegel's not got really many options here. He does find Lopez, who's been an absolute anchor in this team. Big fake thrown. Novak running away from the disc. Able Tinch able to occupy the centre of the field. San Jose sends it. Novak the target. Grabs with one hand. Two players from Fendisk running up. Able Tinch covers. Oh, it's too easy. Defence communication broke down for Salas Bills. And Ito Mendy. Oh, who else? It's his eighth point of the game. What a phenomenal game he's had. And they level it up.
at 10 apiece. Seeing Jan Novak cross over to play some offense and utilizing that size downfield here, Ruben San Jose just flicking that one over the defender. Abeltinch left right out of it. Novak judges it well, knows when he has to go up for it so that he's not out of the sideline. And then there's two players going into the end zone there. It's pick your poison. And Itor Mendy leaks through for his eighth goal, 10 apiece. Whistle went just after that point was scored. So whatever happens, we've got game to 12 here. Game to 12. I might announce that on the, uh, on the microphone. I've got a microphone here, Mitch. It will be a game to 12, game to 12. Scorekeeper's giving us a nod. We're on it, don't worry. There's that pull. Has it got enough edge to bring it in bounds? It does indeed. Phenomenal <laughs> pulling we've seen here. It's been absolutely beautiful. In the wind earlier, that was a very tough disc, but to, even when it's completely still, to get that much hang and flight as the pressure rises from Fendisk, they're really fighting hard. The advantage of that pull that goes out of bounds early is there's no possible way to attack it and get in motion quickly. Oh, a mistake from Ford. He grits his teeth as he looks at Oloskis and the crowd on the sideline. There's so many Spanish teams here in Portimao this week and they're all cheering for the Fendis. The team in white walks casually, slowly, exhaustedly towards the end zone underneath the cliffs of the Prado Roche. I just think maybe he's a bit too casual with this one. Could have probably benefited from perhaps the full pivot, getting a little bit more backspin on that throw. Fendisk have had a couple of break opportunities this game, but they've only converted it the once. Well, that Oloskis Ford combination has been electrifying to watch the crowd getting excited now. And a timeout from Fendisk. Wow, what a moment in the game with a chance to break Salas Pills and go within one of taking the gold medal out here on the beach in the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. So uh, Fendis calling a timeout. There is a discussion about whether you are allowed to take a timeout after the time has expired, which I, I thought you were, but they will, they will talk about it. Same conversation happened in one of the other finals as well. Sorry? The same conversation happened in one of the other finals. They are checking the rules. And yeah, just, just a miscommunication there somewhere. So, late in this game, sides getting their heads reset. I think this is a good opportunity for us to do the same, Tom. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. We are Hive Ultimate, a group of players and coaches from all over the world working together to progress the next generation of Ultimate Strategy. We've helped top teams win world championships and new teams introduce the sport in a fun and inclusive way. Search for Hive Ultimate on YouTube to learn more about our cutting edge strategies and to see analysis of world class teams. To find out what Hive can do for your team, head over to our Patreon page where you can gain access to our exclusive drills and session plans and to join our worldwide community of coaches. Get ahead of the curve with Hive Ultimate. Fendisk and Salaspils locked in battle here at 10 each in the Gold medal match in the Open Division. Women's Division and Mixed Division already decided. The final game of the tournament here in the Praia del Roche, the party in Portimao. High grab from Novak. Novak thought about the deep shot. Gets it to uh, Sparholtz. A laser of a disc down the field. Quick dish off to Vasquez. Vasquez floats it into the end zone. Oh, already celebrating. Diego Lorenzo Jimenez collects in the end zone. The Spanish fans in the crowd go wild. They know what that means. It's the second break of the game to the team from Santander. And they are within one of a gold medal. They can smell it, Benji. Those of you rooting for Salas Pills, don't worry, all is not lost. They were 10-8 down in the pool game and Salas Pills came back to win that one 11-10. So Salas Pills are no stranger to a late comeback against Fendisk. You see they're just collecting that almost shovel off 
from uh, Gonzalez's Vasquez, flying it into the end zone. And Diego Lorenzo knows that it's good before it's even in his hands. And that is, let's have a look. Yeah, 11-10, game to 12, woof. Salas Bills have loaded their line. Bernans, Oloskis, Abeltinch, Ford and Ort. It's a European dream line over on the Fendisk side. Got Novak, Sparholtz, the D-line regulars of uh, Gonzalez. And chasing it down now, Vasquez puts on the force. Bernans for Salas Bills. Yeah, they've got Diego Lorenzo as well, who caught that previous score. Floating it across to Abel Tinch. Bonanza in acres of space because Vasquez has gone for a walk downfield to take away some other options. Sends the big disc downfield. Oloskis is there, completely blindsiding Jimenez. Floats it across the far side where Ort awaits. And then into the end zone. They make it look so easy. And we are at Universe Point in the gold medal match. We couldn't have asked for any more. Two teams locked all the way through the game and it's finished with 11 each and a timeout called by Salas Bills. Magnificent game of ultimate here at uh, Portimao, the European ultimate beat, the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships, uh, all brought to you on Ulti TV. I, I hate to say I told you so, but I don't, I love it. It always seemed like it was destined to go the distance here. And on a high stall, Bernans to seize Oloskis and trust that they have the ability to just spear it there. Oloskis will get his head up in time, finds Ort running through on the far sideline and then continues his cut into the end zone. Does Oloskis to 11 all, game to 12. I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I've got no idea where I, I put my money. I, it, it you feel like way. Fendis could be favourites receiving on Universe, but as we say, they were receiving on Universe in the pool game, and Salas Bills managed to clutch that one out. Well, the coverage being brought to you here from Portimao, courtesy of Ulti TV, helping to grow the sport of Ultimate around the world. And if you would like to support that work, you can do so directly, You're signing up as an individual or as a team to support uh, via patreon.com slash ulti tv for a price of a cup of coffee each month you can make a massive difference to the growth of the sport of ultimate across europe and around the world imagine games like this going on and us not being able to be here and film it what a travesty that would be well, it's a huge privilege and as uh, my last game in the commentary booth it couldn't have finished any well. better I'm sure we can persuade you out of retirement at some point in the future, but no one I'd rather be in the booth with for this, Tom. You're very kind, Bench. It's been said, not, not often, but it has been said. Fendisk await. Salas Bills load up the cannon, Ben Ort. Yeah, they've got Disney's Malderis, Tom Zabeltinch, Arvid Zolovskis, and Justin Ford for Fendisk, Jan Novak, Bastian Spiegel, as well as Ruben San Jose, Juan Manuel Lopez, and goal, goal machine himself, Alvaro Itormendi. Low release from Spiegel. Itormendi, Ort eventually comes across flying, trying to get that block. He's been trying all game and very rarely got anything. Spiegel, trapped on the line by Malderis. Abeltinch takes away the option. Quick dish forward, Spiegel looking again. Itomendi darting around in the reset space. It's going to be a full swing pass across to Novak. Novak works it quickly down to Lopez. He's got Itomendi lurking forward on the cover. Gets it to San Jose. Little floaty forward to Spiegel. Spiegel looks at Itomendi but turns away. Ford covering that still. Can he find a way through? Spiegel stall count getting high. Reset. San Jose goes the wrong way. Floats it back. Losing ground here. Lopez gets it to San Jose. Novak. Looking tired, Spiegel looking through. Malderis finds a way through. It's Amendi, blindsides Arvid Zaloskis and takes the goal. Fendisk are the gold medal winners here on the beach. Oh, what a final point as well. Edging through and winning the game. The Spanish crowd go wild and Fendisk are the European Beach Ultimate Club champions in the Open Division. What a magnificent game of Ultimate. A very partisan Iberian crowd here. And 
you can tell the support and the love they have for this Fendis side that came up agonizingly short four years ago, but not this time. Getting it over the hump, Spiegel to Itormendi for the win, but they had to grind it out back and forth. Only three breaks all game, so clean. No point in this game did either side turn it over more than once. It was that good. They were just on it all game, and it was a final befitting the end of a brilliant long weekend. I do feel for Salah Spills, they came into this game knowing that they could beat Fendisk and knowing that they could fight back if they were down like they did in the pool game at the start of the tournament. Their second game was against Fendisk in pool A and uh, they knew they could do that. And they all on the sidelines say as well, you know, we've had a good season. They, Some of the players picking up with Mooncatchers who finished fourth in uh, Cincinnati, the World Clubs. But here on the beach, they knew with this roster, there was no reason they couldn't win the championship. But Fendis came up with a reason. It was in the form of Alvaro Itamendi and his unstoppable nine goals. Lopez providing five of those goals. Spiegel was available and free for every reset. San Jose was there as well. Big games from Novak. And in the end, the team from Santander, Spain, will take the gold medal. Yeah, a brilliant performance for them. Gold medal thoroughly deserved. And what a weekend it has been. It's phenomenal. Three brilliant finals. Your champions, Casayeta, no, sorry, it was uh, E6, excuse me, in the women's division over Casayetas. And maybe there was wondering, is it going to be heartbreak for Spain in all three finals? Turns out it was not because Guayota overcame Jogo Benito in the mixed final. And you see here in the open final, Fendisk, your champions, 12-11 over Salah Spills. It's been a wonderful week with a wonderful Ulti TV crew. Uh, just trying to see if I can do this without forgetting everyone. Usually I don't, but I, I back myself this time. Uh, Milan, Felix, Chips, Lolo, Luna, Will, Lucia, Lucia, Nick, Lucia. Tom Styles, Hannah yeah. Pendlebury. Well, I was going to get to us. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just, just going through. We'll go our production side first. Jamie's helped us out a lot, just being just general useful as well. In the booth as well, the one and only Tom Styles, Hannah Pendlebury, and myself, Benji Reese. Tom, take us home. Yeah, it's been a, a delight. We've been, uh, we've been doing this for a few years now. And uh, the rap takes us all the way out. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. And we'll see you uh, uh, again soon from a beach. Ulti TV out. See you for Grandmasters later in the week. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way.
Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread Ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Ultimate Team. for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultileague. Ultileague.net.
receive a medal, please line up near the Eurodisc tent. We will call you in in order. Once again, all teams expecting to receive a medal, please make your way over to the Eurodisc tent. If you are sticking around to watch the ceremony, do come and join us in the stands so that you can see and hear everyone getting their medals and get the photographs you want.
last but not least, in first place, we have A6 from Sweden. And this crazy moment will be the end of the mess of Division. And in third place, we have the Fire from Italy. Second place in the mixed division. Let's have here Zogo Bonito from Germany. Oh, the Brazilian man. You guys have lovely outfits and you're not showing them.
six finalists who provided us with three amazing matches to cap this tournament. Let's have a cheer! Anyway. And now I will hand the mic to Sophia. Keep it smooth, keep it. Real quick, 
Let's Glimpse take the fist briskly. Sunshine Glimpse, Soccer Frisbee. Crisply, you know is how it goes with the sand. I told you've got both of the pivots and all of the throws. Gonna hold the disc and move it at the right time. Could you flip the wrist? Can you be so blind? Compose it, throws. Not this, but fluttery. Kicks from the bricks when your biscuit buttery. Feel the spirit. Stretch every sinew, scheming, courage, yeah, we continue. Take my hand, yeah, come with me. From the disc to the sand, to the beach, to the sea. It's been a huge pleasure to be part of this community. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody that's helped make the last 20 years of my Frisbee broadcasting career a lot of fun and, and a lot of enjoyment uh, to the players, to the tournament organisers, to the rest of the Ulti TV crew who are like a, you know, you guys come to a tournament, you have a team? This is my team and they're absolutely brilliant. My co-commentators, Hannah Pendlebury and Benjamin Reese, who will continue doing this for many, many years to come. And I'm, uh, I'm leaving Ultimate Broadcasting in a very, very safe time. Thank you very much for everything.
TV. We need more pink. We need more pink over here. Get in there because it's me. We need more blue also. That's the blue. Sunshine, Bula, Ulti TVE, BUCC. -E. 